Here at UB, we're committed to sustainability and achieving climate neutrality by 2030. We've made a lot of progress and we've been recognized for that, but we also still have a lot of work to do. And that's why ramping up renewables across campus through solar is such an important part of our strategy. The just under five acres of solar panels here at Beiser Creek can produce enough electricity to power 365 homes. Creekside Array produces enough clean, renewable energy to power the entirety of the Creekside Village student housing complex and then some. We continue to look toward the future. Here on top of the Helm Warehouse is one of our four new rooftop solar installations that will be coming online soon. Here at the Solar Stroll, there's almost 25 acres of solar panels. They make enough electricity to power 1,300 homes. The on-site solar is specifically part of our Not All Electricity is Created Equal initiative, and the idea is to transition us over to 100% renewable energy. These panels multiply our uh, sourcing and renewable energy by about 20 times from uh, where we were before we put these panels in. We have a very volatile energy market, and these additional solar panels really help smooth out that volatile market, and that's really helpful for our budget and planning. I like seeing that an entity that has as much reach and size that UB obviously does, that you know we're being leaders in this whole field. As a leading public research university, UB's at the forefront of educating our students to really be sustainable citizens of the future. And so the opportunity to have the solar arrays here on campus to produce alternative energy really sets the example for our students and for the community. I think our students, faculty, and staff need to see where our uh, energy is coming from, right? And to have that in your backyard, to be able to look at that, to be able to, in some cases, actually touch that and understand um, the consequences of energy use and the utilization of it. It's exciting that UB doesn't have fences around the solar panels. We're one of the few places that, that does that so that we can recreate in these areas and wildlife can still use the green area around the panels. Climate change is going to adversely impact low-income communities and communities of color. We need to take active steps in shifting away from fossil fuels and towards renewable energies like solar to mitigate this. So the idea of generating as much as humanly possible on our own campus here at the university is, is really a critical step. It's also a way that we can give back to our community, both the global community and the local community. Join us as we work to take climate action, advance responsibility, and achieve neutrality.